I think you know Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is an English detective that was created by Arthur Conan Doyle. So now we are talking about dynamic ARP inspection. What is the relationship between this? Dynamic ARP inspection works as an inspector in the system. So firstly, let's explain something here. There's a computer here and the computer again here. They are communicating and they have ARP caches. So, with a man in the middle attack, an ARP poisoning, ARP cache poisoning, or uh, with the other uh, name, ARP spoofing attack. An attacker here poisoned this ARP cache. For example, this, ARP, uh, this PC has 111 IP and a, 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 a Mac. I'm writing uh, shortly. And here it has 222 and BB, BB, and BB. So the hacker has IP address 5555 and the MAC address is, of hacker is x So, with this poisoning, normally this uh, PC has these values. To go to uh, 2222, he go this one, this uh, MAC address. And uh, for this MAC address, for BBB, go to this IP address. So, which hack, uh, hackers uh, poisoning uh, process then hackers said says that if you would like to go to this mac use this ip so this traffic comes through hacker again he says that if you would like to go to aaa use this ip address so this is our poisoning our cache poisoning uh, so to overcome this uh, malicious threats we use dynamic ARP inspection dynamic ARP inspection uh, uh, use a trusted ports and untrusted ports mechanisms as it was in DHCP snooping so it do not do anything for trusted ports but for untrusted ports it check IP MAC bindings and it uses uh, DCP snooping binding table for this IP MAC bindings and if it finds the MAC and IP address in this table then he verified the packets and uh, allowed this packet. But if uh, it uh, does not uh, find uh, this IP MAC binding, then it will drop the packets. It will not accept. Here, uh, let's show dynamic ARP inspection process uh, with an example. And uh, I'll show you first the ports. We will configure uh, this port as trusted because he is it is uh, connected to this switch and uh, we will uh, configure these ports as untrusted because they are connected to host devices and uh, they can send uh, malicious uh, ARP packets here. For example, uh, attacker has came here and sent a packet with xxxxx XX MAC address. Our dynamic ARP inspection uh, process check this IP MAC binding table. So he will check, 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 and he will never find this value. So he will deny this packet. 
from here there there will be also a packet coming from an acre this is the mac address i'm writing uh, not the full mac by the way this is also rejected because uh, this is not in the mac ip mac binding but if a packet comes from the uh, trusted port for example a packet is coming here the mac address is this one and this MAC address is here, so it is verified and accepted. With this way, uh, the dynamic ARP inspection protects us according uh, towards uh, any uh, ARP uh, cache uh, poisoning and uh, pro prevent uh, hackers to poison our ARP caches.